hi everyone thank you so much for clicking to watch today's video so guys i would like to know what you normally eat here or fair aku with aka palm nut soup i would really like to know what you eat it with okay as for me i eat it with rice and i also eat it with swallow okay so whenever i'm making palm nut soup this is the brand that i always go for ghana fresh seems to be the best at this market right now this is not a sponsored video i am just telling you that this brand is superb okay it's just so good okay so whatever i'm making is either this or i just forgot about it and uh, as you can see i've already gone ahead to open the can and uh, i emptied it into a bowl as you can see it was very thick so i'm trying to you know loosen it or melt it with some hot water yeah just hot water that i warmed with a microwave so uh, this is what I normally do whenever I'm cooking it because it's so thick and the reason why I'm also doing it like this is to be able to extract the sand because you all know that at the bottom there is this sand that always concentrates on the bottom so and uh, for the protein today I will make use of goat meat the goat meat is just to add some flavor into this soup okay and then I have some cow tribe some abodi and I'll go ahead and season with some onion, scotch bonnet pepper, the yellow one. This, I mean, the smell is amazing. I will season with some salt. And then I will also season with some seasoning cube. And every ingredient will be listed on the description box. Just in case if you want to make use of this recipe, I will be leaving you with all the ingredients that I use in this, okay? So I'll go ahead and add some water just above the meat to cook it. 60% okay because we'll be cooking it after boiling it for a while okay and this is it after the 60 minutes I mean 60% oh my god what am I saying so I am here to add some stock fish the stock fish is already soft I mean because it was soaked throughout the night so it's kind of soft so and then I'll go ahead and add the palm nut uh, this is what I do every time, okay, because I'm trying to, you know, extract the sand, like I said. I don't want that into the soup, okay? The feeling it gives when you bite sand is not something good at all. So this is why I always do it like this. But if you don't want to do it, like, you can just, you know, add it gradually by gradually, making sure that the bottom of the palm nut does not enter into your pot of soup. So guys, I'll just mix it and then I'll cover to cook for 15 minutes yeah 15 minutes remember our protein is still very much hard okay and then this is this after 15 minutes as you can see the oil has started to float on top that shows that it is coming together gradually gradually and then i'll go ahead and season with some banga spices okay and i'll add some crayfish enough for this soup and then i'll add extra pepper okay guys yeah i'm adding extra pepper and then I, I have this uh, dry mackerel at home. Uh, I decided to just add it, okay? And then I add some uh, frozen scent leaf. This is in Chuan for those of you that are Igbo. Okay, so I'll just mix everything and then cover for extra five minutes and allow the in Chuan to, you know, release all its goodness into the soup. And then the soup is just ready after the five minutes. Okay? Yeah. I mean, everywhere just smells good right now, guys. I mean, my rice is always boiling on the other side. And this is the consistency, you oh guys. This is it. Yeah. Remember, it's going to thicken up once it gets colder. Okay. And then we just dish out and then enjoy ourselves. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.